Hey there, I'm CG Plays, and this is Abalon, and we're gonna jump right into it here with a new game because I just barely touched the surface of it last time, and I want to do a harder difficulty. Hardcore, only one life is why I'm choosing this. Also, just more of a challenge of harder art encounters, more health. Uh, who do we gonna play as Lil Lee the Pyromancer? Um, yeah, let's let's do Sylvia Druid, I think, actually. Yeah, you start with uh, the, 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 the car. I'll, yeah, yeah, you're the fun one with the squirrels and mutating squirrels. That's awesome. Two power, five life. Let's do it. Uh, choose biome. Um, I don't know what a good starting biome is. Let's do random. Let the fates decide. Oh, oh, oh no. Let's, let's start with like the difficulty. There's dungeon, forest. We'll do the forest. Sounds great. Start the forest as the starting one here for us. Difficulty 1 to 3, Chapter 1. Fantastic creatures and deadly enemies call this forest home. Somewhere in the mist, uh, the first boss makes its den. Keep your wits about you. Help your summer explore and battle by building a deck of magic, recruiting new team members, and finding lore to reveal the secrets of enemy. Uh, defeat the boss, achieve greatness together, begin adventure. All right. It's also last recording of the day, by the way, so the brain's a little, uh, little mushy here. Um, I'll try and keep my wits about me late into my day here as we run around. How is it, How loud are the sound effects here? Too loud. Let's turn that down. Um, sorry, here you, you can skip past me fussing with volume sound effects there, and uh, hopefully that'll be fine. Let's go explore in here. Hello. Also, first break this. That's better. What are you all about? Fallen angel. Angels are selfless celestial beings that have fully opened their hearts to helping others. From time to time, they fall from the heavens to protect and guide others in their spiritual journeys. Unfortunately for this poor uh, angel, she um, said angle. Uh, she miscalculated her landing. It was fairly injured. That's uh, Fatally, gotta help him. Oh, land on the spikes, huh? You do your best to help the injured angle. I only have one D20. Your highest uh, result decides what happens. All right. Uh, oh, I got, I've got two. Come on. Uh, 13 to 20. I need a 13 or higher to recover. Uh, hey, we saved him. Join my team, right? Plus six health. Thanks for your help. The angel recovers from her wounds and is able to resume her mission. Before she departs, she blesses you with a reminder that no matter how difficult things may seem, there's always someone special out there watching over you. Great. Did I get, I got a card. Celestial spell. Fantastic. We got a new card added here. A lucky roller. And these walk away. What's this, uh, what's this card you give me? Hope unfolds. New achievements, uh, hand? Um, all right, well, maybe it's not like, maybe it's like an unlocked card for the future. Maybe it's just hidden. Oh no, I've got like a little buff following me around. I don't know what the buff is or what it does, but we'll figure out. We want to go, let's even go upwards here actually would be the thing to do. Keep exploring the forest here, find the goods. I don't want the campfire yet. We don't need to heal or reshuffle our cards. That's uh, not what we're looking to do here. If you missed the last episode, don't worry much. I spent most of just doing the tutorial, really. Remember, one loss and we're out. So we can't be losing. Taunt. Units emanating this aura have taunt. Adjacent enemies cannot flee or act on units except taunter. So it's it's a taunt mechanic like the all games have. You gotta attack for them. Is this like the boss right away? Should I... I think if you can, if you can see the hit points early, that means that's kind of like a, a summoning unit. We are not... And I got a warning the last time this happened to like... Retreat. Uh, it's always successful. I just got an area. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be part of our thing. We're not ready for the boss fight. We stumbled on the boss again. Real. Yeah, yeah. That's an, we stumbled on an elite, literally right away before we've gotten any like cars or anything yet. So that's not ideal. Um, what's up? What's up, dude? Are you gonna I break your stuff? I can't. Hey, I'm stealing your stuff. What are you gonna do about it? Uh, ooh, you found wooden buckler, satchel, card, equipment block. Free will equipment, one time use card, and play from satchel while not a comet. Prepare for your next battle unlock. Customize a humanoid alloy. Stop next physical attack from front or side. It's cool. So if I need that, I can grab it. Save that for the boss fight, right? Mercenary for hire. Cost 300 bucks. Can't afford you. Need to get some money for that. Mountain troll. Sounds great, though. You're a 510, 4 armor, knockback, too. I want you. I do. I can't afford you, so I need 300 gold and come back for you. Can I grab these mushrooms? I can walk across them, though. There's nothing up there. We keep, uh... I, I, I think to get up there, I need to go, like, past... Oh, no, there's a thing here I can break. Oh, I can break those. That's good to know. Uh -huh, here's the money stuff. Red dragons. If you want to read the lore, you can pause it and read the lore, but I'm going to skip past them. Um, more free will equipment. What's this one? Equipment armor one, uh, which blocks damage. That's great. Use that for the boss fight once I'm actually, like, prepped. You really got prep the boss fight. Can I can I go up here? There's something up there. And to get to this, I have to like I have to beat you guys down there to get that gold over there. So we'll come back to that later once we deal with the boss man. We'll go to the right here. And it tells you the map there's like a lore there and a key and you know where to look. And that's like a, a dungeon key, where that's all about. Maybe that's how you go farther down. I don't know. Alright, spider. Alright, it's time to do this. I think we can we can we take this fight? What are you? Um 
Wolf Spider, you're 2 8. When you're hurt, you summon 2 1 1 Spiderlings, and these are just 1 1 free to roam. Disgusting creature, really. Um, let's click off of that. I want to. Do we just want to attack you? I think we just. Do we hurl a. No, we, we, we deal with the little guys first. I didn't want. I want to. You attack them. Give them a proud of play. It's been two days since I made my video, last video there. And, alright, so we got my little buddy. Do I want to transform you? Remember, I can't. Until I go back to the campfire, I don't get these back again. Or do I just try and trust? Um. Hmm. I, I think we. If we. The, like, if we can take you out in two hits, you, you bring less of the little guys to help you out, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the counterattack, though, painful. Do I bring in some armored squirrels to help out? No, I think I think we trust that we can do it with just this. Because uh, we got you can only reshuffle your cards so often, right? Don't you dare take my dude out in one hit. Oh, no, my squirrel buddy. We've made mistakes. We need me, we need me to help. All right, um... Hmm... Do I use these cards? No, we can do it without, I believe. Uh, I believe, yeah, we can do the thing. Alright, that's good. It's gonna, you're gonna counterattack and KO them. Maybe I have you s just get rid of this guy over here. And, uh, oh, the counterattack, crap. Okay, we need, we need reinforcements. Uh, we need, we need help here. Come, come to me, my brethren, my armored squirrel. You already counteracted once this turn, so you can't counterattack again. But you can't, what, what? I thought you only get to counterattack once. I guess I was wrong about that. Let's just keep working on you. I don't want this two-way attack of my my friendly friend over here. And we're not gonna use this though. And uh, we end turn here. Um, yeah, we'll end turn here. Save some of these cards for later. We only have so many cards to use. I don't know how common campfires are. We got you out there. That's fantastic. Surprise. Guardian Angel. Uh, what is it? I summoned a Guardian Angel. Oh, so when they're about to attack me, I summoned a Guardian Angel. That's cool. So, I guess I didn't need to waste all those cards. Holy crap! Holy crap! How many times they hit you? How many times they hit you? This is abuse! Choose a card. I guess, I guess they picked up a card for me. I'm picking which one I want. Um, Hurl a Squirrel. Uh, okay. Uh, Wolf. Uh, War Cry. It's a 3-2. This seems better than the Squirrel. Uh, Killer Bunnies. Pierce. We'll get the Wolf. Wolf is a solid card for us because it like, persists in between things. Maybe I should like summon it. Uh, we, got the, we got this Angel here, right? So... Um, can control you. What are you all about? You're a two-seven block flying block. Can't block until moving to new space. So it needs to can't, so it needs to move over to block again. Block stop next physical attack front or sides. How did you guys hit them for so many hits? Do I want to know? Right, I want you to summon a squirrel over here for the one contact damage to take that thing out, and then this squirrel can uh, eliminate you over here. Get destroyed by the counterattack though, and then you, my Fine Feather Friend can um, take out this guy over here and no contact for whatever reason. And I'm going to trust that we can do it with the Guardian Angel. I feel like we wasted that Guardian Angel on a, an area because the Guardian Angel would have been more useful on like an other, another area of the board. Oh, oh man, why they attack you so many times? Get counterattacked on, though. Uh, that's sweet. That, I feel like that 2-7 could have been really useful in that boss fight, right? Just save that. Let's just keep taking these guys out here. But if we walk away from this fight with only one damage, that's not bad. Because you summon a lot of dudes, and we didn't use too many cards. That's fine. Can you make it to me and attack me? You can. Okay, we lost two hit points. Still not the end of the world. We heal the campfire, right? And throw a squirrel over here. There we go. And you can't make it, but if you attack it, it'll counterattack back, and you'll both trade. That's fine. I should turn off that thing, that, that pop up there. That keeps popping every time. I guess I can just get used to clicking yes. Uh, we didn't do great there per se, but we were trying to be conservative with my cards. Then again, we do reshuffle them. Um, more lore for you there. And I still don't know how often I'm going to get campfires. So once your cards, the way this game works, if you're new here, um, this is the last video. When the cards get used in battle, they stay discarded even for all the rest of the battles until you go to a campfire to like re recharge them. So you got to be uh, careful about them. Give them like plus zero, plus three to plant. Great. Get some buffs there. I guess you do find more cards, but I want to gotta be careful. We're on hardcore here. We can't be taking no. Uh, can't be getting greedy and whatnot. Give me this down here. Oh, I guess we're activating this. Ooh, I should choose my entry point better. All right. Um, we have here. We got uh, a a one one, a one one, a one one. This is an easy one. This is an easy one. Have a squirrel from the distance takes you out. And we trade with you, so yeah, this will be a nice little easy fight for us here. End turn. Disable this prompt in gameplay settings. How do I do that? Settings, um, settings, gameplay, um, no end turn prompt. Yes, thank you. 
and get out of there and enter. Thank you. Well, that way it's just go. I'm sure there'll be a few times that's like a mistake for us, but that's fine. So I listen to my neighbor bump their bass and drive me crazy. Mike probably won't pick it up though, hopefully. And there we go. Continue. Lovely. My guy runs off the screen because he's not a persistent guy. Um, snake. Inflict poison. Fantastic. Wolf spiders. More lore for you. You can pause and read it if you want. And keep going through all this. Can I attack these? I don't want to risk. I might bump and hurt myself. Got a heal here. Love that for us. And got a... What's that? It's plus zero, plus three. Man, my neighbor's being really noisy today with their car. I think they're doing some repairs. Can I break these open? Can I click you? No? All right, fine. Uh, do I want to... You, hmm... I only have one die. Uh, maybe, maybe, who are you? Uh, capturing creature. This powerful creature could prove a useful addition to your team. If you can both successfully capture and train it, it will join your party. However, attempting to do so is now without risk. Inspect card. Uh, you're a 310 with knockback, pierce, flick, poison. I only have one D20 to roll. I think we uh, come back for you later. We come back for you later when I have more goods. Oh, that's like water across there. Nice. Fade encounter capturing creatures. So we'll come back for you another time. Once I have more D20s to roll, I'm not sure what this is. Run score, okay, gotcha. You can compete for high scores and stuff. More lore paws if you want to read. And keep it moving along here. Another D20, need lots more of those. Another campfire, maybe the campfire is actually fairly generous. I can use my cards more frivolous, frivolously. We're still learning here. I don't think we can go this way because the map doesn't go that far. Yeah. I'll come back there later if we need it. I'm at full health, I still have most of my cards. Save those campfires. Need ambush. <laughs> what we got? Killer bunnies? The fall. Yep, killer bunnies. The following enemies will attack us uh, first unless you flee immediately or gain the initiative by rolling 13. Um, I, do I care if they attack first? Like, how tough are they? Can I right click them to see? They're 1-1s one -ones with pierce. I don't have any blocker armor. Um, roll for initiative. Um, flee immediately. Uh, let's, let's roll for initiative. I don't want to use any, though. I guess if, I guess you get one freebie. Gets first turn, you get the first turn. She'll roll, roll that one freebie. I'm not worried if they go first, that's fine. I'm not wasting my D20s for five one ones, whatever, we'll be fine. Although they, holy crap, if I knew they, oh, get bodied. If I knew they had that much, ooh, they have good mobility. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I shouldn't have, uh, done it the way we did. Let's go ahead and throw this over here. There we go. And then you can go ahead and get this one from behind so there's no counterattack. I remember that's the thing. Got a card, heal ally five. Appreciate that, thank you. Save the cards for when we, for the tougher fights when you actually need them, although campfires exist. I think we are... I'm just going to end turn. We're fine. Just like what? A couple of 1-1s? One They'll drop a heart eventually. And uh, just throw another one of these over here. There we go. Easy fights. We're on hardcore. We're still having a, a great old time. Give me this. Give me this. And we'll get more goods over here. Destroy that. Nothing. All right. We're going to go... Do we go left? Or do we go down? I don't know. There's so many choices, so many places to be. All right. Battles are easy so far. I guess it was like an easy level dungeon. Just a 1-1. One, one. We're just getting started, right? Uh, you're a 1-3 with far shot. Um, okay, this looks like a slightly tougher fight. Might need some cards here. Mostly because this one, this one guy has got 1-3. Do we get some cards up in here? The thing about you is like you're good, but if you get destroyed, then you're like gone until I get your card back. But I think, I think it's time to bring out the wolf here. Should put you there, actually. That way you can maybe reach... Yeah, you could have, you could have reached that guy if I had done that there, but... Oh, well, you... Give us... Give us uh, somebody here to mess with this guy. Oh, really? You counterattacked my spell? Bro. Bro. All right, um... You... Oh, you can... You'll get counterattacked and KO'd. You might as well get rid of this guy here. Be gone from this realm. All right. Um... You guys... I wish I could see how many tiles they move. That'd be really nice. Just hover over them and have it like show. Oh, here's the range that they can move. One, two. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Oh, you can click them and do it. Never mind. All right, so you can just click them. That's fine. I, reach, I, re I retract my statement. So you are going to be able to attack me. And I can move my guy one more tile forward. You can move one more tile forward. You can move to here to be ready to attack for when the time comes. And uh, we end turn here. And you chose to walk forward instead of using your bone arrow. That's interesting. Not sure why, but that's what you chose to do. Why'd you lose one attack? Oh, because your war cry wore off, I guess. You throw a little squirrel over there to take them out. Lovely value on the squirrel. And go ahead and get this guy as well over here. We're doing great, although my hit points could be better. Do I cast a heal on myself here? My hit points, I don't know how that... You know, the next battle might be tough or something. Heal myself. What if I walk the next room, it's really tough, right? I should wait to see if this guy dropped a heart, but I can't... Can I cast that spell outside of battle? Don't think I can. Your mobility's not quite good enough here. What's, what's your attack range? 
Uh, I think you can move to here and you can attack here, so you can't reach you, so all we gotta do... Wait, what's this one? It means they can't attack you, I guess. Move you outside that range there, and, uh, and turn. Alright. And you move over there, huh? Well, guess what? You can't hide from... Oh, you can't hide from my thing. Well, what if I move over here and... No? What if, what if you're, you're hiding from me? I don't love that, per se. Move over here. And, uh, and turn. Stop hiding behind my line of sight. I know I have a terrifying squirrel of the ages to murder you with, but... How dare you try to exist and survive? Did you block that? Yeah, block and lunge. I guess I'll get the other ones... I guess I managed to get the guy from the side or something, huh? My poor squirrel. Alright. Victory. Ta-da. And now this guy sticks around me, with me because they have uh, the loyal thing makes him stick around with me. But you're down to... Wait, your life is at one. Did you get... What, when did you get hit? Oh, I guess when the, the one guy came up towards you, right? Give me the money. More D20s. Give me uh, this here. Can I go down through this? How does one... Boss, or you need to find the boss key to open this door. Gotcha, so... Boss key's down below. Oh, so that... So wait, that, no, that's just an elite. That's the boss down there. That's fine. So still, still didn't want to fight an elite early, did we? Alright, what's up, bee dudes? Uh, bee drill looking dudes up in here? Not quite. Uh, flying inflict poison. Ooh, I don't want you to poison me. They lose life at the end of the turn. Does it stack? Is it persistent? I think it, poison gets removed at the end of the battle. I think cards are in order here. Transfer enemy minute into a 1-1 one -one squirrel. You're already a 1-1. One -one. Inflict poison? I mean, I could use that to take out one of you guys. No, that's a 1-3 snake. Hmm, do I use the cards this turn? Oh, first of all, just slap out a squirrel, because that just gets rid of one of them for free. And then get rid of this next close one, right? Pick up the D20 while we're at it, sure. And what's your range here? Uh, click you. I mean, I could think I, could, I can at least end turn and just use another squirrel to take him out. The the squirrel, it's it's a fantastic ability here. There goes your war cry. Go ahead and show him your war face over there, squirrel man. It's so good. First area has easy enemies, obviously, because we're just wrecking these dudes. Oh, I could save my healings. Pick that up. All right. I didn't know, though. We're doing great. Give me a card here. Uh, Carniflower Vig uh, Vigil. Vigil. Unlimited counterattacks. Combo attacks at full power. What do you mean, combo attacks at full power? You can you can have partial attack combos, reaction? I don't know. Whatever. Regenerate, uh, heal X at the start of the turn. Vulnerable, lose X, extra life, or hurt by your vulnerability. Okay. Um, oh, so they take more damage from fire. Okay. Give me the lore. You can pause it if you want to read that. Close this. Give me some health. Do the, does the health persist if I leave it there? When I leave the, leave the area? I should, like, try that. Leave the health there so I can come back to it when I'm hurt later on. Rejuvenate. Shuffle your last three discarded cards back into your deck and exile this card. Take out play till end of battle. Uh, oh, you can only... Oh, so like... So it, exile does mean like... Is there some exile thing or does that just mean like I can't reshuffle it during the same... in one fight? I don't know. Might be a good card. Keep exploring here. How thoroughly am I supposed to explore? Am I supposed to be like checking every single little tile? Probably, right? What's up, dudes? Battle. You guys tough? Anybody give me... I'm playing a hardcore here. Where's my challenge? You guys supposed to be tougher for more health. I'm just dominating. It was two good video games. Orc Huntress. Warcry. Attack the closest enemy with the highest power. It'll get harder, I'm sure. Um, I'll be crying for it to get easy, right? Uh, attack the closest enemy with the highest power. Um, triggers when entering battle. So you, And you far shot attacks. But you didn't, though. Um, highest power. You're going you're gonna to murder my wolf. I love that. These look like tougher units, so you're a 3-5, and you're a 4-5 uh, Warcry, plus 1, plus 0, oh, until end of turn. Brutal, bloodthirsty, bad temper, you don't see them angry. Okay. Hmm. I'd rather not lose this guy. Maybe we bring somebody in? Maybe try out the Carniflower. Seems like a choice for us. I can bring it back if I want to. Take out play until end of battle. So, it'll just... Basically, I can't use it again this battle, and then it'll be in my discard pile. Let's get the Carniflower in here. You know, still get some of my cards back here without using the campfire. Um... So, you do... Uh, we can't... We can have you attack from the side there. Have you... No, you can't... Man, your lack of mobility is a problem there, Wolfman. Um, you're doing 2-4. Did you not get a buff? Because it's not an animal. Do I transform... I could transform you something to a squirrel would work. Um, I mean, I could, like, shuffle it back in. I don't have the, I don't have the mana, though. I think we, uh... Give you... Uh, what do we do here? I think we have a squirrel slap into you. And then get the, tr the the squirrel to trigger your counterattack. Ouch. And then you come in and go ahead and give them some 
ouchies from the side. You're gonna, like, uh, do th you're gonna kill my wolf. Uh, can I, like, save my wolf from your range? Um, I don't know that I can. Quick, run. <laughs> run and hide. I don't know what to do. Um, you can't do anything. Alright, I guess, uh, end turn here and see if your war cry is activated at all. Did your war cry- did you guys just not trigger your war cries? I'm confused. Maybe, oh, man, I just moved- I mean, he- I should have saved him here. Well, I guess we can always draw him back to the deck later. Um, did you heal or something? You have, uh, uh, one hit points, so we can go ahead and... Do I need these cards for you? Oh, this guy's got, like, you do three, you're a three, five, and you're gonna attack me next. I mean, three damage of me is not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and slap this guy out here. Although, maybe the game is balanced where you can just, you get so many new cards, you can just use your cards generously. Uh, that's the feeling I'm getting, is that you, they drop so many cards, you can just use your cards willy-nilly. Is the impression I'm getting. Um, in which case... Nah, yeah, yeah, why not, why not? Mixed up. I, th I think the game, I think developer, like, foresaw this problem. What's this? Little, like, head-looking thing there. Is it, oh, is this guy still alive? I forgot you're still alive. Whatever. That's fine. I thought you were. I just, I just mentally didn't register that you were there. Par seven? I think not. All right. Well, give me my stuff back. Animate plant. Yeah, I, th I think you're meant to like use one or two cards for battle and get them back. Maybe transfer small plant to two four carnaflower. Okay, cool. I mean, you, there probably is some like you don't want to use every single card every chance you get. You can pause for the lore if you want. Um, I think there's like a balance of like you can use the cards fairly generously, but also like yeah, I mean. Don't use every single card, every single chance you have, because then you're going to, like, get yourself in a bit of a bind, but you don't got to be as stingy as I've been being so far, maybe. I've got four cards at the ready. Maybe that's it, just try and make sure you ha end a battle with three cards ready for the next battle and balance around that. There's some strategy to be had there. So, Scorpion Wasp, it's a flying. Okay, it's got Pierce, so I have no armor or blocks or whatever. Poison, don't super love that for me. Six hit points, so this is a tough fight. Two, six, three of them? And with, with flying and pierce? That's dangerous. Transform a small plant into a two-floor carnaflower. I think we need this. That's not a small plant, that's a freaking tree, but sure. <laughs> if you say so. Okay. Um, do I want the... Do we... Alright, you're just a two-four. You're really not going to get the job done here. Neither is throwing squirrels going to cut it here. So maybe it's time to bring out the snake here. Can always bring these guys back. We might as well just rejuvenate. So we can't do it. No mana here. Um, get you... Uh, well, first of all, what are you guys' range? Pretty, pretty good here. If I have you attack up here, you're safe from that. Everybody's safe from that one. I can have you move in, uh, up, like, up this direction to try and, like, keep yourself safe from the enemies, right? We'll be slithering around. And you... Hmm, I can have the squirrel. Can I get you from behind? I can get you from behind, so no counterattack from this foul fiend. How's about that one? And... Did you poison or anything like that? No. But you'd have regenerate. Um, you heal four of the start. So, man, you heal to full every turn. So, buffing your hit points would probably be a good thing. Throw a, a friendly little squirrel over here to slap you around a little bit. The question is, do I attack you to do the one, deal the one damage? Or do I leave you to maybe take some of these aggro and then counterattack and have one less attack on the other guys? There might be a strategy to that, actually. Because either way, it's going to deal one damage to somebody and then get take KO'd. Might as well have them waste their attack attacking my squirrel, right? Uh, I guess that guy wouldn't have, would have had anybody to attack anyways. Holy crap. See you later. Carnaflower. Did you use counterattack twice? Um, four hit points. And you, like, how do I okay, right click, and then hover for it to show up its current hit points? Why is it so hard to see the current hit points? Why is it so hard to see the current hit points? Is there an option to like just always show their current hit points? Sticky unit stats. Is that it? There we go. Thank you. Oh, um, that's just one. That's what I want. All right, so we can clearly take you out with a squirrel. And get out of here. I think my guy did counterattack twice twice. Uh, can you reach anybody? Your mobility is something to, des to be desired. Um, to get you in range, I can, you're safe over here for now, so we can just have you just go ahead and soften this guy up a little bit for us. I guess, oh, that means they've already attacked. That kind of means that's good to know. You're chilling. I think you just wait there, and let's just go ahead and uh, get some cards back into my deck, whatever. It's a fine problem to have. Um, I could I could buff my dude with that a uh, little flower there. I think we're okay for now. Maybe, uh, maybe no. Nah, it's still a two, two six coming at me. Um, you give from the side. You know, I'm gonna have the squirrel go ahead and uh, trigger your counterattack. I'm not sure if they have infinite counterattacks or not. I feel like 
Oh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how it works. Oh, let me expose the back for it. So that works out fine too. Get out of here, you. And we, uh, I think we, I think I can handle this between my squirrels, myself. Yeah. Oh, that two, that two hit though. Poison though. Does the poison persist? It already hit me once there. Uh, poison. Yeah. So won't that that stack of poison just stays on you. So they can keep stacking more and more poison. That's dangerous. Can you get down here? Your lack of mobility is a problem there, um, my dude. The question is, do I throw a squirrel at you, or do I like? I mean, I, I can just hit you for two myself. Um, I uh, just I just hit you for two, I guess. Oh, but the counterattack for two. I'm a doofus. I'm a giant, big, dummy, dumbhead. So stupid. The counterattack. But get bodied up. All right. Well, we need to find some health or something. Maybe it's time to use those campsites. We found two already, right? I could use one of those. Go ahead and grab me this. I got, I've got a lot of D20s, but so I could try to get that uh, Griffin or whatever. It'd be a bad event, though. Um, where's the campsite? I can save that one before it's time to fight the Elite. I can go use this one up here. Let's go up the top right. Heal up, because just don't trust. Um, before I... Like, I'll try to grab you, but I want to ha have been healed up first, because in case we might... If we fail the D20, we'll have to fight you, right? Um, make the, I just... I could just take the marshmallows with me. I forgot. Yeah. Um... Make the camp. Heal up there. Get my cards back in my hand. Beautiful. Um, oh, break camp. Cancel that. I want to talk to the giant tortoise dude. What up? What up, tortoise dude? Deck building. Welcome to deck editor. The top panel holds cards in your deck. The bottom panel holds cards in your collection. Drag and drop cards and move them from your collection to your deck. Got it. So we have no... So you, you can only have up to 20 cards. If you get a surplus, you have to like bring it from here into there. Okay, but right now I don't need... And uh, I guess we're done here, and we'll uh, a break camp. Great music. I feel like you've heard the song before, and um, somewhere. Uh, I've got 400 gold. Oh, wait, I've got 400 gold. Wasn't there somebody who wanted gold? Yeah, get. Let's go get that mercenary before we do you, in case we gotta fight you, right? In case you want to be a little problematic cretin, little creature. Looks like you're blocked, locked onto the grid as far as movement here. So you can't like run in between the lines. It wants to have to be a certain way. You, sir, five ten. I'll pay 300 gold to hire you. Absolutely. Was a guardian. We already know this, but I'll put it here in case someone else to pause and read it if they didn't see the previous video. There are guys that just stick around with you. Look at that five, five ten coming in here. Um, armor four, so armor just blocks damage and refills. So he just gets every turn the first four damage just doesn't hit him unless they have pierce to bypass it. Knockback pushes him away. He's a five ten, fantastic addition to the team. We'll see if we can get a Griffin up in here. And we'll be just really, uh, really cooking for science. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, hurt me and damage me outside of battle. I feel like I should be able to like break these spider nests outside of battle. Can I grab a Chimera? I've got a lot of D20s. Help me, uh, inspect the card. You look... Yeah, you're a 3 de 310. You ignore armor because you have pierce, or you, know, you disarm it. You get poison on them. You knock them back. Just having 10 hit points alone is fantastic. 3 attack is a lot. I definitely want you. Capture a creature. Alright, so if we roll too low, uh, it's gonna attack us. If medium runs away, 15 or higher. We, we, I'm putting all, putting all the dice. I really do wish there would, like, the developer might work on this and add this. I, I want a feature that somewhere, maybe right here or somewhere or here or I don't know. I want to know, like, uh, four dice, I've got a 62% uh, chance of succeeding. Seven dice, I've got a 94% chance of succeeding, as opposed to just like, well, I don't know, throw everything at it and hope for the best, right? Be a nice feature. Whoa, just barely. Good thing we use seven dice, right? Oh boy, that might be the seventh die right there. Uh, we got him just by the skin of our teeth. Now the creature is captured. It must be trained before it can join your party. Hold on. I gotta spend D20s to train it? Oh, no. Wait, can I, can I escape? No, 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 no. I, I just wanted to click it to see if I had to train it or not. Ah, oh, I would have waited till I had more D20s. Would have come back. Oh, man. Uh, tra uh, just, uh, just anything other than one or seven. Anything other than one or seven. Um, no, oh, man, I would have come back. Where's my, where's my option to, like, go back from this if you want to change your mind? Why am I locked in? Please, developer, please. Fix it. Great, now he attacked us. Oh, but he's not, okay, that's not so bad. Though. I thought he was going to, like, attack us. We go to the battle phase, we had to fight to the death and, like, kill it. No, just hit me for three. That's not the end of the world. Okay, it just does a little bit of damage to you. That's not so bad, then. I can deal with that. Um, I am poisoned, though. It's probably just going to, like, hit me in the next fight. Hopefully it doesn't damage me more here. Um, let's just check out this here. Oh, what's this? Another mercenary, maybe? Capturing creatures, okay. All right, Magma Giant, it's a 4-12. Ooh, I think I'd rather have you. Knock back one, when a chaos spell is cast, deal two damage. I, my character isn't chaos, so that won't matter. Um, 
unless the enemy casts chaos, because other allies melts plus one plus. It's a four twelve. It's a four twelve. It's so it's a solid solid card. Can I only have two uh guardian types? I'm not sure. What's our cap? How many guardians I can have? I don't know. Uh, crocodile. It's a it's a taunt with pierce. It's a three eight. That's a good card. I will happily take that. And we go, I guess, down into the left, and then down again to explore more. Need more D20s. Capture that thing. I guess you gotta be careful. You, you probably won't be able to capture everything, or maybe just being wasteful with my D20s. Hey, what's up, dude? What are you all about? Sides roadside shop. Um, I, I kind of want to save the gold in case there's another mercenary to hire somewhere. Um, ooh, blue troll, three eight regenerative fire. Yeah, well, ooh man, we gotta come back. When we got more money, and just make sure we explore the rest of the map first here. Nice little music there. Give me a break this. You might hear some leaf blowing in the background. It'll be my neighbor. Battle. Okay, that's a freaking 414. Oh, there's the poison. Um, can I get rid of that somehow? Uh, maybe like, do I want to fight you? You're a 414 flying spring shot. So that means, uh, uh, may move and then shoot up to three spaces away. Ooh. Uh, in a cone, get poison. This is a, this is an elite fight that I can come back to when I'm more prepared. Uh, yes. I can come back to that later. I'm more, I was just coming there to break the barrel. All right, save the elites for when I have myself in a better situation. The poison ended after the battle ended, so that's fine. Let's just keep exploring, get myself all nice and prepped up before we fight these elites is the smarter thing to do. We are playing in a hardcore after all. Fighting elites early is a good way to get yourself bodied. Lore, pause if you want to read that. And we keep on moving here. That, that, is that, that looks like an elite battle. That looks like an elite battle, oh boy. But we, we're running out of, that's a, that's, well, no, no, we'll, we'll come back, to, we'll come back, to, we'll come back to it. Make sure we're ready. Oh boy, yep, that's, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's, those are just, that's an elite, those are just minions? Those are just, no, okay, okay, we, we have it on hardcore for a reason, but we gotta be smart about what we're doing here. We're playing this game on hardcore, we gotta use our brain, we, we gotta be clever about things. I'm not sure, um, ooh, you're invited, Goblin's birthday party? Forest Grove, often we'll have cake, music, dancing, chorus, opening presents. Hint, goblins love gold. Oh, that's, that's just some lore, okay. I thought that was like some kind of a special event there. Keep running around, uh, get this barrel here. And I want to start the fight, maybe here, better positioning, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is, I thought if they had the hit point bar, oh, that's because I had, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so dumb. I turned on the, uh, the sticky unit stats. So this is like, this is like an elite, that is like an elite, right? Because they got the red hit point bar, or just maybe it just means it's a tough unit, I don't know. Um, I think we just, we just go for war here. Oh, I see, so little bar, big bar with a border around it. Okay, so what are you? Yeah, yeah this is, this is, your your nature summer. But maybe we're ready for this fight. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time we do this. I only have seven hit points. I can heal myself, though. Um, do we get the wolf out here? We do have an animal to summon. Get this wolf out here. Put you, oh, there so you can take out one of these guys for me. And, uh, what's your movement range? You can't make it to attack there anyways. Uh, click off you. Can I just like right click to deselect him? Yes, I can. You can make it to take them out. You'll get counterattacked a little bit. Um, I don't have the mana. I need to keep you alive. First of all, we just use a good old thing called a squirrel here. And what's your guys' range? Are you your melee? You can't reach my guys. We'll just have you uh, take out this guy here. And you get taken out in the process. I want to keep you somewhere safe. Hide here out of their line of sight in case they do some range attack or something. Maybe throw their axes. You, I mean, you, you have four armor. You exist to get attacked. And I don't want to heal myself yet. Saving money for the crocodile, whatever cards we draw. Deal with the summoner here. Walking in for a melee. Poison. Give the enemy two poison. Really? You went all the way around? I, that's what I was worried about. Well, rest in peace. Uh, oh. I mean, well, you wasted it. I mean, I think the the computer's intelligence needs to be improved a little bit. It literally casts poison, which would be lethal on it, but then use another attack and waste it on its own. The computer could be made a bit smarter to not like be wasteful in their moves, perhaps. But that's probably like easier said than done, right? All right, so this guy's a, this guy's really strong. Like the five four makes him incredibly good. Do I really need to spend more cards? I mean, we just, we, we, we got we got lots of cards. We, I'm being a little too stingy with the cards here. You're this three ten can go take out you. That's great. Um, I'm not sure I can move and far shot at the same time on you. Can I? No, no line of sight. Uh, I guess we just go ahead and toss one of these at you over here. Uh, do we care about the counterattack? You counterattack for two. Who cares, right? Go ahead and have you trigger the counterattack. 
Oh, never mind. There's insane knockback. You, I guess, I mean, you'll get obliterated, but whatever, right? It's fine. And, uh, hmm, do I cast a card here? Uh, you know, we're fine. They're, you're down a nine hit point. We're destroying you. This uh, mercenary is really good, and the fact that they have four armor that generates, that's very strong. That's a very strong unit. They are kind of slow. I mean, they've got decent mobility, too. Maybe, like, to balance this character, reduce their mobility a little bit. Because their mobility does seem, like, pretty solid. Um, you can't really make it over there, can you? Wander over there. Can I move here and still... I guess you can't move and far shot at the same time, but there we go with that. And go ahead and give him a tickle, although this guy's just going to take him on next turn, right? Because he's just that good. This guy... Why is he, what are you, what, what's this? Yeah, a taunt. You have taunt. You're, like, pulling aggro. Okay. Touch of death, destroy an adjacent enemy minion. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, that's so bad! It's the reason it's so bad is like I can still win this battle just fine, but I, I don't have you for future battles. Oh no. Oh, you gotta learn their cards. Oh man. Hardcore chapter one elites. Oh boy. Now my guy's gone. Oh boy, that's gonna make it real hard, huh? That's hardcore though, right? Maybe I can like redraw him in a campfire. I don't think he's. I don't think he's in my discard pile. I think he's just gone. I guess I need to find another guardian, huh? Uh, what do you want of these? Bear trap, surprise. Enemies entering space take four damage and are mobilized. Good for melee, guys. You're a 2-3. Uh, triggers from entering battle, so when I summon you... Uh, so I guess it's like, if the war cry means like, if they're, if they're already on the board and you walk in, doesn't do anything, but if you summon them, like a summoner summons them, they get a war cry bonus. So you get a, you're a 4-5 for your first turn, which is not bad. All allies get plus one. Let's go for the one mana four or five. Well, four or five for one turn anyways. Although, can you attack her? What's this blue thing here? As you touch the soul gem, the spirit within is released. Boss starting mana, minus three. Oh, I like that. So, as when you... The game rewards you for taking out elites. So there must be two elites here. And what are these? Uh, each red gem. I will find out. That's, that's cool. I like that. That's a great game mechanic. Soul gems. Defeated elite... Uh, elites drop gems containing their trapped souls. When you pick up a soul gem, its energy is released, weakening the boss of this world who enslaved it. Red soul gems deplete max life. Blue soul gems deplete starting mana. So it must be there's five elites I can take out, maybe? That's a great game mechanic. Fantastic. Love that. Uh, get this card. Don't let that get away from me. Animate tree. Transform a tree into a 4-7 treant. With knockback 5. Vulnerable to fire. Sounds great, though. Discard. If you discard, you draw a treant. Okay. Do you have to, like, manually discard a card? I don't know. Um... Maybe I can go, maybe I, I need the, I need, uh-oh. Finding the perfect tree. Goblins are chopping down the forest to find the perfect Christmas tree. You monsters. They don't actually know what that means. They just like chopping stuff. Heavily alarmed by their behavior, a treant is trying to stop them. The goblins have now turned their axe against the treant. It's about to get dicey. So, I mean, obviously we help the treant to get the treant on our side, right? I am curious. I think this time we do the treant, but if we do it in a, if we do another, in another video, if you happen to get this event again, we'll try the goblins next time. But here we help the treant, obviously. Oh, it's another D20 test. Oh, please give me the percentage rolls. The goblins call for help and attack. The goblins attack. The goblins are scared off. Oh, boy. Hope for the best. Just use everything and cross your fingers. 15 to 20 or higher. Come on, come on. Nice. Oh, overkill. Overkill. They're scared off, though. Uh, recognize you're not one to be trifled with. The outmatch goblins scurry off the forest. Hopefully, they'll think twice about who to raise their axe to in the future. Great for your help. The treant pledge joy to your advantage. Great. Lost one guardian. Get another. Fantastic. Uh, joins your party. Inspect card. It's a 4-7. Uh, knockback 5, vulnerable, fire 3. I am root. <laughs> I see what you did there. That's great. Uh, accept offer. Now, do you come in as a card or guardian? As a loyal unit. Fantastic. If you don't know what a loyal unit is, you can read that right there. I wrote that in the last video. If you missed the last video, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, I got a 4-7 here. You now let's go to the last guy, because you don't have the 4 armor or whatever. But you're still not bad, though. Um, where do you want to go now? Do I take up this? Do I go to this campfire? Ah, this is the only campfire I know of. Um, I kind of want to take the marshmallows, honestly. See what we can do with that in the in the future. Give me these marshmallows. I'm taking them. They're mine now. Marshmallows are delicious treat, beloved by the characters of Avalon. Uh, spend five marshmallows to restock a depleted campsite. Got it. Ba oh, gotcha. So, you, basically, you don't need to do what I did. We're like, I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave the campfire and go back to it later. No, just grab the marshmallows, and you can either use that at a future campsite, or come back to it later. No need to like traverse the whole map to get back to it. Do we just fight this elite? I'm I'm feeling feisty. Let's do it. You're a 413, though. You're a summoner by the looks of things. Perhaps I should have waited. Draxus. Summoner. Armor 3. Taunt. So, you're chaos. If I'm near you, I have to attack you. Okay. Armor 3. So, I have to hit, so the squirrel's not going to do a lot of good for us here. Alright, so... 
Hmm. I think for you to do any value, I need them to be a closer. First of all, let's just... Oh, use a squirrel to get rid of this. Boom. And... Wait, oh, they got the block. Well, let's go... I, I got rid of the block out of the way. Now you're gone. One less do for you to work with. Um... You... What's your range here? We're, we're safe from your attacks. I'm... Uh, I want to move you... I say we move you... Over... Uh, maybe... Here, I guess. I don't know. You can chill there. And I don't want to summon this yet because it won't be... I need you to be within range to attack. The Carniflower, though, I will summon. I don't want to send... I want you guys to split up that way if they decide to do some, like, AoE spell or something. It's not gonna hit the two of us. Can I attack this? Get out of my way. Maybe I can hide behind it. Fine. What's the, hold on. What's, what's this guy's range? What's this guy's range? Okay, we need to not go that far out. We can go right here. And we will enter. How about the... Uh, deal too far to everything but adjacent enemies. Holy crap! Yo! Oh, they're weak to fire! Oh, they're all weak to fire! Three fire damage all units. Oh, my nature build getting bodied by this dude! No! <laughs> Your spells are so good! I, I'm, I'm in trouble. I need help. Uh, transform enemy minion to one one scroll. Surely it doesn't let me use this on the boss, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, that's a little overpowered. But we're probably in range to summon the Satyr Warrior. They get a, they're a four or five, so we could probably get some good hits. Um, yeah. So where's the, where's the back of you? Uh, is this your back right here? Or, wait, what counts as a back attack on you right now? It's kind of hard visually to tell where the back is on some of these guys. I'm guessing, because your head's pointing at an angle, and your body's at an angle, so... Is, like, all these three counts back attack? I don't know. Um, can you even make it? No, you only, can only make the front. So we're gonna use a squirrel, maybe to, like, you know, hit you once here. Um, and kind of like, I want you to attack it. Maybe if I can get you to face... You turn, when you counterattack, you turn and face when you counterattack, right? Get you to face this direction. Yeah, there we go. And now your back is exposed for a four damage hit here, and you're gonna... And you can't counterattack either, which is great. Um, and then we end turn here. Cleansing fire was all debuffs. Um, my... Oh, God, uh, that debuff's going away. Anyway, chain lightning, ouch, and my dude's gone. Oh, are you in range attack? No, good. You are terrifying. Oh, I need to... I need to redraw here. I can heal myself. Um, it's not a terrible idea. I've got the man to do it. So, just in case, top myself up here. Um, get this... Uh, I can't transform you. Polymorph is useless to me. Get this plant... Why can't I... Oh, it's... I, it, there's there's no plants to transform because there's nothing on there. That's unlucky. Card draw for us. Um... What's your mobility? If I can run over to this tile or there or there, I can avoid your attack. My mobility is, is possibly worse than yours. Um, I, what do I do? I can, I can summon a squirrel and hopefully attack the squirrel instead of me? Um, no, I, I, I want to summon the squirrel. Do this. Why am I, why is it like, what do I need to do to get you to summon the squirrel and not attack? Hello? I don't want to manually attack you. I want to summon a squirrel. I need to, do I need to move away and then do it? I swear I've been able, I've been able to do this before. Hmm. I don't, I, 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 if I move away, I expose my back to you. Wait, where can you actually move to? Um, uh, where can I, like, position myself? You can't, if, if I, if I'm facing this direction, you can't attack my back. So you can't attack my back here, I guess. I don't know why I can't cast my squirrel spell when they're that close. I guess you're not allowed to. I thought I did too in the previous video. And turn. And, uh, oh boy. Oh, counterattack though. That's why I'm about attacking. You got the shield, right? You're summoning a lightning elemental. Oh, and of course, he spawns right behind me. Clever girl. Alright. Can I, can I not draw more cards? Talk about unit stats. Ah, I see that button there as well. Why? Oh, aha, polymorph. Let's get some value out of this, huh? Get this creature handled. Thank you. Um, and, ah, uh, we did draw a card. Armored squirrels. Okay. Did I discard other ones? Oh, no, we didn't. Armored Squirrels, some of these two Armored Squirrels here to help out a little bit, either side of you, perhaps. Great. And... Um... What do I do? Can I, can I not do anything? Myself? Did I already attack this turn? I'm confused. Oh, I guess me casting a card on you count as me attacking? No, you're still looking up, I can, I can move. Why am I not allowed to... I can attack you, but I can't attack that Squirrel? Why? Is it my Squirrel now? I'm so confused. Whatever. Um... Maybe a squirrels are too adorable, I'm not allowed to attack them. Let's, uh... 
Why can't I move these guys? Why can't... Oh, because he has taunt. Duh. He's got taunt. That's why I can't. Wait, why is he not counterattacking? I don't understand why he's not... There he is. So there's one counterattack. Will you counterattack again? No. Maybe some on your side? I don't fully understand why some counter things counterattack, some things don't. I don't fully understand. Like, I saw one guy counterattack twice, right? Holy crap. Oh, chaos and fire. We're in trouble. Cleansing fire. Uh, healed himself. We got rid of this thing. We're in a lot of trouble here. I, this was... Oh my god! We're dead! It's okay! It's okay! It's fine! We wanted hard mode for a reason! <laughs> we unlock new cards, and next time, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be a little more respectful of, of that character, and we'll know better. Well, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Um, it, this is a test, kind of like a test here. Developer gave me a, a free Steam key, you know, for me to, like, into the series. The first one's kind of the gray area on views as far as whether or not to continue or not. Um, if I put this video out and it gets, like, I think I'll do, like, maybe one more video to see, and if one of these, because a lot of it has to do with the thumbnail and title, really, um, and if, like, both of these, if, like, the second and the third video here do just really bad on views, both of them do poorly, probably just, you know, nobody wants to see it and we call it good, um, because, you know, Turn-based not exactly the most thrilling thing to watch for a lot of people, so it's a very niche audience on YouTube. But if we get like at least a thousand views on you know one or both these videos, probably worth it. Keep the series going for at least a little while. I'm enjoying the game; it's fun. But uh, if you're watching this far, clearly you'll like it or you click to the end. Um, but that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Smash that like button. Let's go.